Look at this volume fader. Tavarendru theriyama Hello everybody and welcome to another YouTube video. In today's video, we are going to learn about how to add reverb and delay to our tracks. So we'll be learning about how to send the signal through an aux to a reverb and a delay plugin. So let's get started. So this is the track that I'll be working on. Let me play and show to you. Tavarendru theriyama mayangi ponennam kaadalukku marandu sendru nee ponalum If I want to add reverb to the vocals, all right. Let me just show you how I do it. We'll first mute the instrument. We'll select the vocals, and to get this window, you need to open Inspector. Okay, so that's it. Small I sign on top. Okay, in the toolbar. So you just select that. So there are two ways basically. One is you add the reverb or the delay directly in the channel strip. The other method is you send it through an aux. So that's why this button is there called sends. Normally, I don't use reverb or delay directly in the channel strip, all right? Because it will make the track really muddy and your entire signal is directly sent to the reverb or the delay plugin. So you don't have direct access to the dry signal, all right? If you directly add it to the channel strip. So that is why you need an aux channel. So basically what will happen, you have the dry signal here. You send it to an aux channel and you have the reverb in the aux so you have the dry signal you have the wet signal by wet i meaning the channel strip that has the reverb so you can have you know flexibility over both the dry signal and the wet signal all right whereas when you directly put it in the channel strip you only have access to the wet signal because you are directly putting the reverb on the channel strip all right so let me show you how to add an aux so you select the track that you need to reverb on you select that and here you have this button called send right so you click that go to bus and select bus 1 you can basically select anything okay so let's select the first one so you select bus 1 so now what has happened the signal out of this track this is named as vocal so i've put voc so the output of this channel is going through an aux all right so what is bus 1 it's right here it is aux 1 let's just name it as reverb so i'll write vocal reverb all right so now what i'm going to do in this aux channel i'm going to add a reverb directly in the channel strip so let's choose space designer go to factory default go to large spaces maybe a hall and then you know you have so many different reverbs and they've even given you the time you know until it is drag so let's choose warm vocal hall okay what i am going to do next is immediately i'm going to add an eq so as i've said in my previous videos there are two ways you can add one you can go this way or you can just select this eq on top of the channel strip and then i'm going to cut all the low frequencies So why do you cut low frequencies? Like I said, low frequencies create a lot of muddiness in the track, all right? And they also occupy a lot of headroom. So to avoid that, you just have to cut that low frequencies when you add a reverb because reverb will give you all those low frequencies, all right? Now when you play, Tavarendru theriyamal mayangi po Can you hear the reverb? Tavarendru theriya Okay, if you said yes, <laughs> then you're wrong. You cannot hear any reverb right now. That's because you've just added the effects here. You've sent it here, but you've not mentioned how much of the signal you want to send it here. Okay, so that is the purpose of this small circle over here. All right. So when you press Option and click here, it will come to zero. Or you can just you know click and drag. So it is zero. Now what's happening? The entire signal from this track is going straight into the vocal reverb. Now let's listen and see. Tavarendru theriyama mayangi ponennam kaadalukku Definitely you can hear the reverb right so that is how you do let me show you the reason why i am cutting the low frequencies here by actually showing you the signal over there so this is the signal coming out okay and let me you know solo only the reverb and show you Grab your earphones and listen to that. 
okay so those are the frequencies that you know really muddies up the track okay and that is the reason why i remove those i remove all those frequencies that are you know clashing and are really messing up the track so now so can you see the difference it's very clear so that is the reason why i do that now let's unsolo that so tavarendru so now what's happening you have added reverb to the track but the problem is there is too much of reverb in the track all right now i'll show you two methods how to control the reverb or the wet signal okay method number 1 you control the amount of signal sent to the aux through this circle so like i said you can click drag okay so now it's at zero tavarendru nothing is coming so while it's playing i'm going to increase it and i'm going to show you how much is needed okay so just follow along with me tavarendru theriyamal mayangi ponennam kaadalukku marandu sendru nee ponalum mayakkathil thavikkindren nun ninivu So that is one way how you do it you control directly over here while the audio is being tracked and also i don't generally you know control the reverb when it is soloed okay i play it along with the instrument now let's try it tavarendru theriyamal mayangi ponennam kaadalukku marandu sendru nee ponalum mayakkathil thavikkindre nun ninivu Okay I feel that is okay. So that is one way. You directly control the wet signal over here. Now let me show you the other way. So let's keep this sent to zero. So how I do that? I just press option and click here. Now what I'm going to do, we have a separate track for vocals. We have a separate track for the instrument. I want a separate track for the reverb that I've put here. There's a channel strip here basically. So I want that to be shown over here as well. So how do I do that? So you basically go to that vocal reverb, double click, create track. That's all. So you have the power to control the wet signal in the project file itself, okay? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to adjust the volume fader over here. What is it controlling? It's controlling the reverb, okay? Now we put it to this and then now let's listen and adjust the reverb length. Tavarendru theriyamal mayangi ponennam kaadalukku marandu sendru nee ponalum mayak tavarendru theriyamal mayangi ponennam kaadalukku marandu sendru nee ponalum okay so those are the two methods by which you can add reverb and the method that i prefer or the method that i usually do is adding it over here so this gives me a lot of flexibility i get to have my own channel strip for the aux channel and then you know it basically acts like a separate channel strip itself because it has its own volume fader it has its own space to put plugins in and it has its own space basically now let's go and check out how we're going to add delay okay this bus 1 If you don't know what you've renamed it, just click it here and it'll show you. So it is vocal drip. So what's happening? The audio from this track is also going into aux, which is vocal reverb, and the output of that is going to the stereo out. All right. So that is the flow of the audio. Let's add another bus so that we can add a delay to it. Okay. So you again click the small bar here. Go to bus. Go to bus two, and let's name that vocal delay. Let's directly bring it to the project. So you double click, create track. So you have it here. Now we're gonna add our delay plugin. So let's go and add a stock delay plugin. Let's add stereo delay, and let's maybe put both of these in a quarter note, one by four, one by four. All these are two hundred. And like I said, how reverb you know creates a track muddy with all those low frequencies. Delay also does that. so you immediately add a eq plugin cut off the low frequencies all right go to bus to option click now everything is going okay so now it's at 0 db let's listen to it you are going to hear a lot of delay now tavarendru theriyamal mayangi ponin kaadalukku 
what's basically happening is you can hear the delay very near to you right say you want to hear the delay from a little far off distance okay what you can do is in the delay plugin right before the eq you can even add another reverb to it okay so let me add same space designer and let's add the same thing so i took large spaces and then warm vocal hall now let's see what's happening தவரென்று தெரியாமல் மயங்கி போனேன் நம்ம You can hear the delay but it has a lot of reverb it feels like it's coming from a little far off distance right there are a couple of things you can also do here for example you can add a distortion if you need you can add exciter if you need so there'll be this exciter plugin yeah so what exciter does is it'll add a lot of harmonies to the track all right so you can add a bunch of things let's try to adjust the volume of the delay okay so i'm going to reduce it and by the track is being played i'm going to increase it and check all right tavarendru theriyama mayangi ponen nam kaadalukku marandu sendru nee ponalum mayakkathil thavikkindre nun nenivu tavarendru theriyama mayangi ponen nam kaadalukku marandu sendru nee okay So the track is sounding way better right now let me mute these two Tavarin. and show you what will happen if i directly add the reverb to the channel strip so this is what is going to happen let's add an eq again now let's see what's happening tavarendru theriyama mayangi pone so what's happening is the whole voice itself is like only the echo and it's not clear okay and especially with the chords it sounds very odd right like it's like only the echo is coming and you're you know playing the piano for the echo it's something like that so that is the reason why i don't add it directly in the channel strip i add aux channels and then send them there and do it there's another cool way by which you can do another thing which is called automation so i've done a whole new video in automation that's already there on my channel if you want to check it out i'll put the links down so you can do that but if you want to automate your reverb and delay that's very easy to do okay especially delay you don't want the delay to come throughout the song right you need those delays to come when there is no vocals coming in between something like that so if you want to automate let's take for example the delay all you need to do is click a you begin automating so this is your delay track so in between you want to automate so what i'm going to do i'm going to click command and highlight this region and click here so it has created two points for me i'm just going to increase over here maybe not too much maybe a little bit like that i'm going to press command i'm going to highlight this region and then i'm going to click here increase it tavarendru theriyama okay so that's a little too much so what's happening is that there is a lot of reverb there so you can even reduce the wet signal tavarendru theriyama so look at this volume fader tavarendru So you get the point, right? Like if you don't want the reverb in the same way throughout the track, and you need little variations, you can do that. Okay, you just press Option, select the area where you want to automate, and increase or decrease it. And it's not like you can only add two points. You can just click how many ever points you want. You can add. Okay, so you just. add your delay and reverb and you automate the volume so that it really pops up in places where there are no vocal or where there are vocal spaces okay and you don't want your entire vocals to have the same kind of reverb and delay throughout the song you need some variations and that's where automation comes in play so that is the end of this video guys so this song has already been released and it's out on all streaming platforms the song is called back in time and i had a fun time collaborating with another musician called bhuvan Nish and he goes by the name Kenway BK in YouTube so do check out his work as well i'll link his youtube account down in the description as well so that is how you add reverb and delay to your tracks try it out in your tracks and keep practicing and mess around with automation only then you'll really understand how reverb and delay works and you'll really get the hang of all the sounds that are going on in your track all right so with that being said thank you so much for watching i hope this was useful and i'll see you guys in another video